hello guys welcome to solving solutions to number one channel where i get solutions to all the solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to show you a special kind of buffer unlike the circular or rectangular buffer or maybe the buffer that goes maybe to one side right good now the special kind of buffer that is called the wedge buffer right good now we are using it or maybe its application can be when you have um, a cctv camera and then you want to know the coverage of the camera or maybe if you have um, some lighting points and then you want to know the coverage of those um, lighting points right good so you have a point and then you want to know the coverage of the illumination from that point right good so this same um, wedge buffer is um, a tool that can help you um, visualize that kind of um, scenario right good so let's come to the processing toolbox and then under the processing toolbox we can come down to vector geometry and then under vector geometry we have um, the create wedge buffers right good so remember you can also search for it from what um from the search button here right good so let's um, now select the create wedge buffer now we have the um algorithm open the create um, wedge buffer so what does it do this algorithm creates um wedge shape buffers from input point right good now we have our points here which are um, our points um ss right good now um the azimuth most times on site if you have gone there with a compass or maybe whatever you would use to measure bearing you try to measure the azimuth of each of those um points maybe the cctv camera or maybe the lighting points that um, you want to use right good so that will now be under this parameter maybe let's um, right click and then open the attribute table once more that is what you are going to fill under this parameter so most of the parameters we are using here are actually hypothetical right good so they do not really represent um, what is on ground per se so um the azimuth here can be the azimuth of each of those points right good so we are using the same azimuth which might not give a better representation so if you have actually observed that and then the other one is what the wedge width right good now okay let's look at the azimuth parameter the azimuth parameter gives the angle in degrees for the middle of the wedge to the point right good now the buffer width in degrees as well is specified by the width parameters so note that the wedge will extend to half of the angular width either side of the azimuth direction so now for this um, wedge width we have also created what a field for it that can be defined or that can be seen as the coverage right good of the um, the illumination so maybe it can be specified by the manufacturer or when you are on site you can also what measure that right so we also have what this um, outer radius it's optional however it helps us to define the extent how much or yeah how big or how large the the wedge will be on maybe when it is being displayed so let's now impute the parameters so for the azimuth we use this option and then we select what the field since we have it as a field we just select what the azimuth field right good then for the wedge width we still come up to this tool we select what the field and then we use what the illumination coverage now this same um, illumination coverage as we have told you is like what the extent with which maybe the cctv camera covers or maybe whatever lighting point that you're using covers right good so you would have gotten that from the um the manufacturer specification or by field observation now for the outer regions um if we use it as one okay let's leave it as the default one and run you would see that um it would be a bit very very tiny even inside of what our point right good so it's only when you zoom into that area that you are going to see the coverage of that particular um, maybe lighting point or the cctv camera right good so for if you want it to maybe be more pronounced you can decide to change this um, parameter which is the outer radius so if you exaggerate it to 10 think um, that's the word i was trying to look for if you want it to be exaggerated and if you increase this outer radius to 10 then you run you are going to see that you have um, a more pronounced um, buffer region right good so if you put this out you can see that one is actually um, as though it is non-existent right good so the default one 
gives you um, the perspective that when you zoom into any of or each of the yeah to each of the the point of interest you are going to see the coverage however if you want it to be exaggerated then you can now play around with what this other tool which is what the outer regions by actually increasing it right but so you can also check um, QGIS documentation to see to see um, better descriptions of each of these parameters and how they work right good so we told you earlier that its application can be maybe if you have um, CCTV coverage and you want to know CCTV cameras rather than you want to know the coverage maybe some lighting points or whatever point feature with which you want to determine the extent of the coverage right good so this polygon yeah there was even a comment the native output from this algorithm is a um, a curve polygon geometry right good so this same um, curve polygon geometry actually defines what the extent so remember all of these are actually what scratch layer so if we want to save them so that we can always come back to them we can save them from here or while we are trying to run the algorithm we can decide to define the output and then click on save to file right good so if we click on save to file then we navigate to the folder where we want to save it and then let's call it um wedge right okay let's call it wedge underscore buffer so we can decide to save and then the output parameter the output directory has been fixed so we can run now you can see the difference that we don't we no longer have what that um, scratch icon here unlike here that we have what a temporary scratch layer so thanks for coming to class we hope we have shown you um, exhaustively how to carry out um, or how to use this um, vector geometry to call them create wedge buffer right good then you can also check out the QGIS documentation for a um, better understanding of the different parameters. So we are going to see you on the next tutorial. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.